Hello and welcome to this course titled Angular Components In-Depth. This course is an advanced in-depth look at Angular components, components in the Angular JavaScript framework. Uh, as the title says, this is an in-depth course. So this assumes that you have some Angular knowledge. You've either gone through the Angular basics course on Java Brains, or you have worked on Angular and at least built some basic to do apps or hello world apps so that you can know what the framework is all about and how you can get started with a simple application. Uh, if you are not familiar with Angular and this is your first time exploring the framework, I definitely encourage you to check out the Angular Basics course or probably look at some other material before you jump on this course. This course is going to be an in-depth look at components in Angular and components are a very powerful and important building block of any JavaScript application that you're going to build with the Angular framework. So this course is split into three units. The first unit is going to be covering some of the basics, not quite the basics that a newcomer to Angular would be expecting, but this kind of assumes some knowledge, but still it covers all the bases. And uh, if you're familiar with Angular, you might want to skip unit one, but I definitely encourage you to go through that because, uh, well, you never know, you might learn something that you are not familiar with at this time. Uh, but we're going to be looking at some of the the quote-unquote basics of Angular, which includes having uh, hierarchies and components, having a parent component and a child component, and also passing data from parent to child and events from child to parent. We're going to be covering all that in unit one. Unit two is going to dive deep into some encapsulation concepts in components. We have ways in which you can do view encapsulation and transfer data between the parent and the child and how you can encapsulate components to make them reusable. And we also learn about a couple of concepts which allow you to work with hierarchies between parent and child components, uh, including accessing child instances from the parent using the view child and the view children annotations. Unit 3 is going to be covering some more advanced concepts, including content projection and multi-slot content projection. And we're going to be building a shell component, which is basically a container which allows you to project multiple different DOM elements into a single component. And we'll, we'll learn how to access those instances directly in your TypeScript class as well. So this is a very quick look at this, uh, the contents of this course. Uh, again, the title of the course is Angular Components in Depth. See you in the next video.